The thing I love most about being in Alaska is that you can go out to some of these places and just be alone. Um, you know, if you, if you really start to think about it, you're miles and miles away from anything. You know, miles from the nearest car, uh, miles from the nearest road sometimes, and uh, out there on an island or even the mainland. You're just out there in the wilderness. You know, this is such a unique experience for so many people. Alaska is bigger and wilder than most people are accustomed to, so um, putting the, the nose of the zodiac right into a waterfall or uh, watching a humpback surface right next to us. It's just wild. It's still wild. It's, there aren't many places like this left on Earth where you can see such a density of life. To me, it's a very personal place. Uh, I grew up here. It's, it's been uh, important to me my whole life. And I think uh, just kind of the amount of uh, wildness and the amount of beauty that you kind of can experience here is unparalleled anywhere else. We can get a lot of places that the big ships can't go. We have a little bit smaller draft, so we don't draw as much water. We can go into areas that are shallower. Uh, we can go into fjords that are narrower. We can uh, explore these areas that the big ships just don't fit in. So far as an expedition day, uh, there's a few different places we do it, so it changes a little bit. Expedition days are always really exciting. They're all in wilderness areas. There's no dock there. There's no port. And so we usually typically start in the morning. We'll do five zodiac rounds and two kayaking rounds. And so it's going from uh, from the ship all the way out, um, kind of wherever we're headed, uh, whether it be a glacier or out to uh, view the fjord. What we try to do is we try to make the program as accessible to as many people as possible. Typically on the Zodiac tours, we only run about six people. It's the fewest number of people that I've been taking out than many of the other companies that I've worked for, which is a really nice experience for our guests. Having an expedition team on board uh, is, is a truly unique thing and feature, and having expedition team members around in a casual setting uh, provides so many wonderful opportunities for really expounding on your knowledge of Alaska and I and I believe if you understand what you're seeing better you'll you have the opportunity to make more memories. I mean you come around a corner kind of you know the the ship will be parked they'll hide the glacier just a little bit and you kind of run the zodiac around the corner and you have the big poof, reveal of the glacier coming around oohs and ahs, you know, so often people will like verbally gasp as you come around. People get very excited about seeing things that they never in their life dreamed that they would. You know, if you're, if you're thinking about coming to Alaska, um, I suggest choosing an expedition ship because you have an experience that uh, other people don't get. When you come to Alaska on a Windstar ship uh, with our signature expedition program, We'll have people on board to help you along the way. Um, we have a team that is well experienced in a place like this um, to, to get you the knowledge that you need to enjoy the places that we're going to. People come up to Alaska not knowing what to expect and these trips in particular just blow people away. It's a small ship, um, it's an intimate experience. Come see the last great wilderness. <laughs>